Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are let's play Torneco, the last hope. In the last episode, we made it down to the... Well, we got the safe back, and now we made it down here. Oh, shit. Oh, this is not cool. Let's use, uh... Oh, I have one more. Oh, shit. Good thing I save-stated it. Earlier, yeah, I'm gonna be using these. I apologize. If you don't like it, I... I'm sorry. Let's use panic on this guy. There we go. Okay. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. fighting these guys is, is if you get them in the uh, alleyway or whatever. Oh, shit. Okay, that, that's kind of neat. This son of a bitch stole my money again. No! I just went down the stairs. I wouldn't have even needed to... God damn it. Oh well. There we go. We made it out of the dungeon there. We got the eternal flame or sacred flame or whatever the hell it is. Yeah. Yeah, go fix that goddamn lock. Seal off the stairs forever. Yes, I did obtain the sacred flame. Oh, he's just sad because I think he's sad because his uh, I think he's sad because his son's missing. Either that, yeah, or he's concerned about his citizens. That could be the case. Good work, dear. Let's have something to eat. And look, see, there's the slime that we defeated him. Yes, well, he didn't say anything, but he did tell me to get lost. There's nothing for you to worry about, son. Right. Hey, he could even go to the storehouse and swap the shoes. Yeah, look at him. Where is our bed anyways? What do we sleep on the sofa on the side there? What the hell? Alright, so now we got this baker person. Why would you go in the graveyard? I like the fact, I will admit that I do like the fact that there's various, um, different areas. You know what I mean? Rather than just being the same thing over and over again. You 
Yep, so now pretty much we get store items when we bring them back up and we could sell them if we want. It's a huge mess. You can store 20 items. Yeah, so you could store more later. So, like, let's say you get a really good sword or a really good shield, you could store them over there. Whisper, whisper. On up talk again. Every time we save up to a thousand, my husband will pay you. With that money, you can buy supplies and repair the storehouse and steps. Oh, yeah, okay, that sounds good. Alright, well that's interesting. I wonder how much the storehouse you can you can bring up. Uh no. So yeah, she'll she can sell the items that I bring back. No. I think it over here. Yeah, okay, so you we could store these items. I'm just gonna sell them. store them Yeah, and then you can just sell regular items. You can withdraw your items. I'm gonna save the game, do another hard save. Alright, now I'm gonna switch the save state. So, there we go. How may I serve you? Let's deposit some more money. Because I don't want... One, I don't want them... I don't need them selling shit. So, let's go to the square. I wonder if the blacksmith is over here. Prank, blah blah blah. Let's come over here and talk to you. Did I get it? I don't even have a bread. So I guess we'll go to the graveyard. We saw that baker lady go in the grave. Oh. Um. A wind starts blowing. Oh wow, that's messed up. And then I'm sure I know about traps. 
Hello, Baker. Uh, yeah, this is a spooky. That's true. Sure, I can escort you. I'm right here. Are you blind, old man? I'm right here. I can undo whatever. Yeah, he's very brave. Alright, so... Yeah, we can't take any items. Oh, apparently I can't take, uh... The herb. That's messed up. I guess I gotta put it away. Yeah, let me know if you guys want to hear, like, the, um, the music theme, you know, the bam, bam, the, the, the joy theme, because I can just play it. Alright, now we're going into the cemetery. Ooh. Showing like you're going down the stairs. Yeah, I guess you could spend... Oh, I'm getting my ass in there. Maybe. I guess you could spend too long in an in a area and they're like, Yo, bitch, keep going. I, yeah, because I guess you could just walk around if you find a spot where you're like... I don't know, where you're... Um, you're finding enemies you can fight a bunch and go up levels quickly. Occasionally enemies do drop stuff, I have seen that happen before. Get over here, shocker, punch you. I'm assuming you gotta throw these at the enemy. I guess this is the uh, dungeon of uh, <clears throat> of the the herbs. Hey, here's the baker. He's terrified. Of what? Should I give him a, a herb? Maybe? Supplement? Maybe if you smoke some of that dank stuff, you'd be doing alright. Oh, there we go. Bread. Nice. Yeah, I wonder where... I wonder where the thing is. 
guys looking for. I don't know what for. A lot of this game is going to be very blind. mention that. I, I've only played... I've never played this game to its full. And I... I no, let's speed up these stuff. Maybe I go up a level. Huh? Close. Maybe not. I don't know. I, I actually don't know. <coughs> Super herb. Iron eyes. That's a good one. That probably uh, makes you invincible, right? Throws it at a monster, turning a chunk of iron temporarily. Restores the HP by a large amount. Nice. You know what? I'm going to use the strength one. Just because I want to make sure I'm going to be able to handle this. Because it doesn't look like I'm going to... It looks like I'm just going to be punching things. Halfway? Alright, well, that's good. So there's six floors. But yeah, I like how there's actually story to the uh, dungeons. Like, they were able to upgrade that feature. Like, the original game only had... No, oh, damn it. The original game only had, like, hey, dungeon, let's go in it and explore. And, and there was story as you got more money, but you didn't really know what to do until then, you know? You're like, what do you gotta do in this game? And it's like, boom, gotta collect money to upgrade the village so that, um, you know, people come and then King or something will ask about the joy chest. Because there's story pl points in the game, but um, they can be... Actually, I think if you just get the joy chest, you're fine. You don't even have to worry about, like... You can, like, literally go down the level 26. I think it started, like... Appearing at level 26 or something like that. Or 426. And, um, funny enough, you just beat the game and then not know any of the things that are going on around it. Which is kind of funny. Alright. It's over here. I also like the fact that everything in this game, or at least the music in these dungeons, isn't just a variation on Tulum's theme, you know what I mean? It's actually uh, some, you know, other stuff. Super. Oh, look at this. What the hell is life? What the hell is that? Oh, this, this is, uh... Yeah, why not, right? Army ant? Magic ant? Oh. Hmm. So these guys can uh, F up the layout of this whole area. That's interesting. Thank you. 
Yeah, like I'm sure that there's gonna be like floor. I think I remember floor traps from the original game. I remember like you could step on like little switches that'll like either be a bomb or an arrow or something like that. Baker. <laughs> Alright. So as you see, being poisoned and you use the antidote or we're gonna be alright, see? Alright, let's let's just go down the stairs. Alright, we're on the sixth floor. This is where his master's buried. Having magic bread. Look at that. What a nice guy. May the spirits of bread guide you in the afterlife. A good amount of money too, so that's good. I like when that happens. <laughs> so he's gonna open up a shop in the square, which is pretty cool. Magic bread. Papa. Nothing. 
thing happened. Oh, I get, I guess something did happen. The graveyard. It's right so spooky. got trouble. Hey look, there's a, there's the mummy over there. I'm scared. Alright, what's going on? Oh, shit. Hurry to the castle. What's going on with the king? Has he come down with with a, a he doesn't have a voice? Where did he go? Where did he go? Investigate uh the sinister air in the castle in the village. Huh. Well, at least he left with a bunch of soldiers, right? Alright, so now we gotta find the, the king. How do we find him? Where's the old man? I don't even know where the hell he is. Is he near the graveyard? Oh look, they're falling in love. They're falling in love. Oh, how very nice. Alright. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Occasionally, you'll run into a priest who might heal you. And give you bread, too. That's nice. again. I actually want to see how much the bread costs. Let's go see how much that bread costs. Oh my god. Yeah, you're getting really ahead of yourself, Maggie. Explorer's in, eh? to check that. We'll, we'll probably check that in the next episode. I just want to see how much the bread is. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, you can look at all the special attacks that they do. Oh, want to raise your level. Oh yeah, I remember this rival guy. I do remember you. So, can you like... I don't know. I heard that there might be a... Oh yeah. Yeah, where is the blacksmith? Oh, look at him. He gives us information about the items. That's nice of him. 
So we could buy magic bread, huge bread. Yeah, sure. And what's huge? At least the bread's cheap, right? Might have other side effects. Cool. And boost your belly capacity. Very cool. Let's have the explorers in. I guess I'll just check everything out. And I'll save the old man's place for the next. There's a bread scroll. That's kind of cool. Whoa, that's not nice. Jeez, Anyways, uh, I'm gonna head back to the square. I'm gonna switch my save with this button. I'm gonna save the game. All right, and I'm gonna stop this episode. In the next episode, we'll go talk to the old man and see what's going on. Where's the king going off to? I've been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye bye.